Hey, it's Thomas and this is day 43 of 100 days of code in IoT challenge. Today, I'm going to show you how to publish a library to platform IO registry. Let's get started. Okay, first, let's move to Visual Studio Code, where I open a project with a library I would like to publish. That library is going to be UniUno, my rapid prototyping library that is going to be turned into framework at some point, I believe. So um, I'm just going to open it from the recent list. So I'm going to click here. And there we go, right? It is opened. So yeah, so that's something we have already done. And the terminal is also open. This is important because to publish a package, publish a library, you need to do it from the terminal. Okay, so I have directory switched to UniUno. And now what's left is to have a look at the documentation. Right, so from the documentation, on creating a library, you can find the link in the description, by the way, what you need to do. So yeah, first thing, first section is about structure, right? How you structure your project. And what they encourage you to do is to keep all the header files in the include folder and all the CPP files in SRC. In my case, I have only header files. So I've put everything into an include folder. And in SRC, there is nothing except for the git keep in case there will be some files in the future. Right, so this is assorted for me. And also, what is required? A library JSON file, something that is missing at the moment. And uh, really, it's uh, more about on this in the manifest section. Right here, we've got an example. And you know what? I'm just going to follow this example, create a library.json in here. So that needs to be at the, at the project level. Right, so let's create it library.json. Uh, was it library.json? Library.json, yes, that is correct. So yeah, here we've got the library.json and I'm just going to copy paste everything from an example to here. Okay. And now let's just try to figure out more or less with the support of, from the documentation what a different properties here are about. Okay, so yeah, the first one is obvious. That's name. Our name is going to be uh, just lowercase uni uno. The version I'm going to keep 1.00 because that's going to be the first version I deploy. Then description. Description, a rapid, uh, maybe IoT, a rapid prototyping library. Keywords. Okay, so keywords. Uh, let me put HTTP client, HTTPS client, clock synchronization, Wi Fi manager, maybe just Wi Fi as well. And uh, what is uh, also uh, maybe futures and promises. So futures, promises non-blocking, async, and I think that, that, that's it. that is enough for now. I can always change the keywords, I believe. Right, so now repository. For the repository, I have something prepared already. I haven't pushed any code in there, I think. Let me check. So from my repositories list, that should be a uni uno, there it is. Right, so it is empty at the moment, but we can use it. We can use it. So what I'm gonna do is to pass that. And what we're gonna keep is just the dot git extension. Right, now authors. So authors is just me. So I'm gonna just keep the one uh, with the maintainer, right? Because I, I am maintainer of this library for now. Maybe they're gonna be they're gonna be others to join. And my email, I'm just gonna keep it as a, something like this. 
right and my website yeah I am maintained a license is gonna be mid license I would like the code to be open home page there is no home page at the moment so I I guess I can just remove it no dependencies I think because this dependency that we've got in here for the Google test is not required for other projects, right? You don't really want to run the tests of a library you're using, so I'm just gonna completely remove anything that is inside dependencies. Right, and what we've got, we've got left is frameworks and platforms, and for that I'm gonna have to look at the documentation again, because I'm not sure what I can put there. What I know is that um, yeah, uh, here, here we can find it. So library JSON, here is the description, everything, and there is some extra options like uh, export, include, exclude, which is quite useful um, if it's what I'm thinking it is. Right, anyway, um, let's, let's check on the, uh, maybe not the export and include, let's check the frameworks first. So frameworks, nice, okay, you can... You can pass the frameworks the library is compatible with. So our library is compatible with Arduino only. And in that case, I'm going to put Arduino as a collection, right? Just a single element there. And then platforms. Platforms is this one, right? How do I know is this one? If you go to platform.io.ini, here is the platform, right? At the moment, it's only supported on ESP8266. I plan a support for ESP32, but there might be some differences. Because on ESP32, you basically have two cores. And uh, you can use threads, a simple pthread library in C++. So I think we could do some improvements to our futures implementation. Okay. So yeah, so that is done and let me look at the export, include or exclude maybe. Exclude the directories and files which match with the exclude patterns. I really like it because um, let me tell you why I like it and why I'm going to add this. So include no, but uh, one second. Uh, okay, I have to do it manually. Okay, so... For the include, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, probably I would have to include like e everything that I want to include. And there's gonna be a new folder in here. Maybe not, I'm not gonna create it today, but very soon with the examples. So uh, what, I, what I'm gonna do instead of include is exclude. And I'm gonna exclude the test directory, right? So ideally, I'm not sure what is the what is the pattern I can take, but maybe I can just do something like this. Test. Um, let me confirm this. So there it is. Um, export only files that match declared patterns, and uh, yeah, the, the star sign matches everything. Right. So I guess if I put test and the star sign, that is gonna match everything inside the test directory. But we will find out. We will find out eventually. Okay, so library JSON is ready. And now to publish your library, publish your package, you need to run a command from the command line. Make sure this is a platform IO command line. You can open it here, right? Just by clicking at this button. And uh, that command is PIO package publish. However, to be able to run this command, you need to be registered and logged in with Platform.io. I am already registered, so that would work for me if I just run it now. But if you are not and you're just publishing for the first time, you need to create that account. And to create it is pretty straightforward. You actually don't need to, you don't need to leave your command line. This can be done from CLI. And the command to register is PIO account register where we are supposed to pass a username. Um, so let me just pass something. Then email. A password. Obviously we have to repeat that password. 
and then first name, last name, and once we hit enter, we're gonna get an email sent to our mailbox, right? I'm not really gonna hit enter because I don't really wanna create this account. I don't have access to example.example.com. But yeah, once you do it and you hit enter, it is going to send an email to your inbox. So check your inbox, click on the activation link, and right after you activate it, you can run PIO account login. And for the account login, you just need to provide your username or email and password. And once you hit enter after the password and the password is correct, it is just gonna log you in. And once you logged in, what you can do is to run the command I mentioned before, which is PIO package publish. So let me run it now. And that's it. This package has been accepted. We will notify you on email when process it, right? And that happens immediately. So if I check my inbox now, I should have an email um, informing me that the package has been published successfully. And to confirm that, what I can do is to go to platform IO registry. So that is on the platform IO.org registry libraries. And in the libraries, I can essentially type in my library. So I called it Uni Uno. So it should immediately appear in the search results. And as you can see, it is here Uni Uno by, by me, right? My name and surname. There are no examples at the moment, right? So if you want to have a nice documentation for your users, right? For, for anyone who wants to download that library, it is a really good idea to create the examples folder in here and add your examples there, right? And I think the format of the examples is uh, MD, but yeah, that's something to, to verify. Let me check how can we... Uh, yeah, there it is. So we have examples and you yeah, see the published libraries platform IO registry. Oh, okay, so they encourage us to check other libraries for that. Okay, um, so you know, let me just get something random. Okay, here we go. So there is some random library. And oh yeah, that just displays the files. That displays the files. So you can essentially add the files in the examples folder and that's just gonna display it for you. For the installation, this is I think the standard way of doing it with platform IO and headers are presented as well, right? And this is the same for Uni Uno the one I have published. And this is it. It is as simple as that. If you want to um, create a new version, right? If you want to, uh, let's say you change something, okay? You change something in your library, you had a bug, for example, and you just fixed it. To publish it again, you have to increase the version number, right? It is not possible to publish library under the same version that is already uh, published to the registry and th this is actually you know understandable that how that this is how other package managers work like npm for example right so yeah that is how you publish a library to platform io and that was also something i um, had to do to continue working on my projects right like the yesterday one a plant watering system and the one that i'm gonna start tomorrow so yeah thank you very much for watching if you like my content you find it useful and you would like to stay up to date with my channel don't forget to subscribe and uh, there should be a subscribe button in the bottom right corner cheers bye